Here's a pump casing that our group drew as part of our project. This video will highlight one way to draw this feature here. Alright, the previously mentioned features will be made using the loft command. To get started, let's draw two circles on the top plane. One on each side of the origin. We need to make sure that all three points are horizontal to each other. Next, we need to specify a distance away from the center. We'll make both of these 8 inches. Alright, we'll dimension this as 6 inches and this as 4 inches. We're going to go ahead and exit this sketch. Next, we're going to move into the right plane and we're going to repeat the process. We'll go normal to this view and we'll draw two more circles here. Once again, we want to make sure that all the circles are in a line. We're going to constrain them to be vertical to one another and they will also be 8 inches away from the center. This circle down here will have a dimension of 5 inches and this one here will have a dimension of 3 inches. Go ahead and exit that sketch. Next, we need to create a new plane. To do that, we'll go to Features, Reference Geometry, Plane. We're going to make it an intersection between the top and the right plane, which will give us that plane there. Click OK to accept that. Next, we're going to make a sketch on that plane. We're going to go normal to it and draw another circle. This one is also 8 inches away and it'll have a diameter of two and a half. We'll constrain it to be horizontal. We can go ahead and exit that sketch now and we'll take a look. And here are the five circles that we'll use for the outline of the loft feature. Let's go ahead and do the loft feature now. Select lofted base, click the first circle, the second circle, the third circle, fourth, and fifth. As you can see, this is not very round because each the loft command takes the shortest path to the next profile every time it makes one. This is not what we want for this feature. Instead, we want to use the guide curve feature to create the correct outside geometry that is round. Let's go ahead and cancel out of this and draw one of those. I'll use the spline feature to make these guided curves. First off, I need to draw a small line at the intersection of each profile. I need each spline to be tangent to the previous, so to make this happen, I'll use these little lines here. Since they're blue, that means they're not constrained. To attach them to the edge of the circle, I'll use the pierce command, and I will do the same on this side. I'll go down to the profile at the bottom, and I'll repeat what I just did. use the pierce command once again to join it to the edge of the profile. I'll do the same on the bottom and there we are. Next I'll zoom out. I'm going to highlight all the little lines I just drew and I'll set them all to be equal. I'll make a small dimension here and we're ready to draw the splines. So I'll click the spline feature and I will join one point to the other and I will do the same on the inside. Next, I'll make each spline tangent to the straight line. Repeat this over here. And I'll do the same on the bottom as well. This will give the guided curve a nice, straight, continuous path to follow. 
as you can see, it's starting to look pretty good. I have to repeat that same drawing in between this section here, and this section here, and this section here. However, it'll be the same process I just used, so I'll fast forward through that. Okay, that's all finished now. We can see we have a nice guided curve that follows just the shape we want. So we can go ahead and exit that sketch. And now we'll go into a, more of a 3D view and we can go and try that loft base again. So once again, we'll select all of these contours here. And there we are back to where we were before. Now we'll select a guided curve and we'll click the inside sketch and we will also select the outside sketch and there we have it. Much nicer looking. Go ahead and click OK and we can see our finished solid.